Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Rebecca, Becky, Bex, however you want to call me. In today's video, I am super excited. I'm going to be trying on the Mulan makeup collection from Mad Beauty. Now, if you guys don't know what Mad Beauty is, Mad Beauty is a very, 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 very affordable brand. They're very known for bringing out their little makeup items and skincare items at Christmas time, especially at Superdrug. They tend to bring out advent calendars, face masks, bath fizzers, that kind of thing. And I know sometimes they tend to bring out little items in Primark as well. But this video is not sponsored by Mad Beauty. They don't even know I'm making this video. And and when I saw they've done a collaboration with Disney's Mulan, which is supposed to be in the cinemas, but due to the virus, it's now been delayed for later in the year. But Mulan is my favorite, favorite princess. I absolutely love her. And when I saw this collaboration, I was so excited. I'm gonna be trying on the eyeshadow palette and the brush set. So we're gonna see if any of these are any good. So if you guys are gonna enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to hit that notification bell and share this video with your friends, whoever likes makeup. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Link is in the description bar below. So let's get started by trying out the brush set and the eyeshadow palette from the Disney Mulan collection by Mad Beauty. On the Superdrug website, they retail for £15, but I believe they're buy one, get one half price. Not that I would recommend you guys running out and buying them at the moment due to the current situation we've got going on at the moment, but maybe you could check them out online or something. And if you guys are wondering what my outfit is, this is actually a kimono slash nightgown i'll insert a picture of it on screen here but i absolutely love this thought i'd wear this and wear my little chopsticks in my hair i used to wear these chopsticks back in college i used to wear it with this sort of pigtail all the time because i absolutely love chinese japanese culture i love it so much anyway enough about the outfit i'm gonna zoom you guys a little bit closer and we're gonna be trying on the eyeshadow palette and the brushes okay so i've brought you guys a little bit closer so the first thing i'm going to try is the eyeshadow palette this palette this the Disney Mulan eyeshadow palette and this contains 12 eyeshadows you have a nice variation of mattes and you also have shimmers in here and you've also got a press glitter as well which is the shade strong heart it's like a press glitter shade it looks so pretty oh my gosh I honestly don't know what look I want to do I think I might actually I think I'm gonna create a look inspired by Mulan's eyeshadow here like what she wears in the movie so she wears like a lot of bluey eyeshadows so I think I'm gonna get a little bit inspired by that but these eyeshadows they look absolutely gorgeous I cannot wait to try these and from the brush set you get four brushes and a beauty sponge which I think is a really really good idea so you have a powder brush can we just admire the packaging look at this packaging it is so pretty so you've got all these really pretty little flowers on here and you've got like a chinesey symbol on there you've got the gold you've got blue then the gold it looks so nice so you've got this really nice powder brush so this is synthetic really beautiful so this is a powder brush and then you also get a nice foundation brush. You've also got a nice blusher slash bronzer brush because it's got that nice angle to it. And then you've also got this really nice eyeshadow brush, really nice for blending eyeshadows in. It's got that firmness but softness to it at the same time. And then it also comes with a beauty sponge as well, which is so good, especially when it comes to foundation. So you could apply your foundation with this brush and then you can blend it out with the beauty sponge. So I love the fact they've added a beauty sponge to this. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab, oh, hmm, I don't know what, I don't know what color I wanna start with first. I'm gonna take the shade Little But Lucky. It's like this warm, rusty orange color. And I'm actually gonna use the Mulan bl eye blending brush. So I'm just gonna pick up the color. Ooh, it's very pigmented. Okay. And I'm just going to start working this in the crease area that is pigmented 
I haven't actually tried many eyeshadows from Mad Beauty. I think I tried some like with their old um, advent calendars, like I think a, a couple of years ago now. And they actually were okay. They actually were good quality eyeshadows. That colour is super, super pigmented. Oh my gosh, it is popping. Okay, so I'm just going to just grab a blending brush. It's just by Revolution. I'm just going to grab a blending brush and I'm just trying to soften out that colour so we can make it a little bit more softer around the edges. Okay, I'm now going to grab the shade Wild and Free, which is this really beautiful shimmery green colour. I'm just going to take a flat brush. So I'm just going to dampen the brush a bit. Oh, it looks really pigmented. I'm going to give that a little swipe. Ooh, I like that colour. I'm liking the look of that. Yeah, that looks really pretty. I'm going to try it with my finger as well and see if that, see what it comes out with that. See how it comes out. Yeah, pretty much comes out exactly the same actually. Usually I know some eyeshadows tend to come out better with a finger than a brush, so I was just giving it a go. That colour is really pretty. So now I'm going to go with the shade Beautiful, which is this teal green colour. I'm just going to pick that up with a Revolution brush. Ooh, these are really pigmented. I'm loving the pigment on these eyeshadows. I'm just going to add that right on the outer edge. There is a little bit of fallout with these eyeshadows. You have to be a little bit careful or just do your eyeshadows first before you do your base. Especially when you're working with pops of colour like this. Go back with that Mulan brush. Just going to stop diffusing and blending that edge out there's no access product on this that color is beautiful unfortunately you have to keep adding it a little bit not the fact it fades completely i've had colors before where i've put them on and they've just completely disappeared and you're like oh where'd that pigment go but this color you do have to sort of add it a bit more it is there you can see it's there but once you blend it out it does fade a little bit but the colour is still there, so just bear that in mind. Such a beautiful colour though. Right, I'm just, just going to grab the same brush. I'm just going to blend these two colours at the top together now. I will clean the situation up because uh, it's looking a bit messy right now. I really want to try that pressed glitter. It's called Strong Heart. It looks so beautiful. I think... Hmm... Do I apply it with my finger or do I apply it with a brush? I think I'm going to apply it with a brush. Just going to use a very small little concealer flat brush here. It's from Miko Tools. Just going to grab Strong Heart. Where am I going to put it? I think I'm going to pop it in the centre of the eye. Just going to sweep it across. Just very little. That's intense. Ooh, that is a tense glitter. I think I only did like two swipes of that. Ooh, uh, that is pretty. Can you guys see that glitter? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's not even creasing my eyeshadow. Oh my god, this is really pretty. Guys, this glitter is so pretty. Oh my god. I went in with the brush and then I literally blended it out with my finger to smoothen it out and it hasn't even creased my eyeshadow. This is so stunning. Oh my gosh, I love this glitter so much. So in the picture, Mulan is wearing an eyeliner. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm just going to grab, I'm going to grab this. this is the Lottie London stamp liner. Just going to start making an eyeliner. All right, so I've just done the eyes. I will come back to the eyes. I'm just going to test out the face brushes now. First thing I'm going to do is add a primer. So I've got this one. So this is the Revolution Baking Oil. So I'm just going to add, add this to my face. 
forgot how nice this smells. Just gonna dab a little bit of that on my face. Okay, that is the oil blended. I'm now looking very, very shiny. I'm now just going to add a foundation. So I'm gonna go for something a little bit more natural. I'm not gonna go for full coverage. So I'm gonna go for this one, so this one here. So this is the Gosh Cosmetics Foundation Drops in 06. I was a donut. Picked up a shade too dark. So I'm gonna to have to mix this in with my Freedom Ghost Whitener. Help to whiten the foundation a bit because it's a little too dark. Yeah, you can see from that it's way too dark. So I'm gonna add that. Add a bit of the whitening drops. You can't buy um, Freedom anymore, it doesn't exist, but any sort of lightening drops would do. Okay, so I'm now gonna test out the Mulan foundation brush. So I'm just gonna start swiping this around my face. So once I've swiped this around my face, I'm then gonna go on top with the Beauty Blender and see how that works. So far, it's it's swiping around everything good. Ooh, nearly got some in my mouth. Ugh. But it's blending around everything really nice, actually. Doesn't look like it's streaky or anything. I haven't applied my foundation with a brush in God knows how long now. Right, I'm now going to go on top with the Mulan beauty sponge this expanded really big so i have high hopes for this so i'm just going to go on top of where i applied the brush just to smoothen everything out these two performed so well this brush like i know it gave a little bit of streakiness but it wasn't that streaky at all and with the beauty sponge it just smoothened everything out on my skin it just looks really good i know i love that foundation anyway but it's it's good to give it a fair review by using a foundation that you really like and you know what works this beauty sponge is so good it just smoothened everything out it didn't take off too much product um i am really impressed this probably be really good for cream contouring as well so i'll have to use this brush for cream contouring i'm now going to go in with a bit of concealer so this concealer is the ex1 delete fluid concealer and it's in the shade 1.0 i have tested the ex1 range i'll link it on screen check out that video and see what my review is on those products but i'm going to use this one i'm going to pump it on my finger this is insanely full coverage all right let's go back in with that mulan brush just gonna blend it under my eyes yeah i personally prefer to use this with foundation it's all right doing with the concealer but i think it works better with foundation so i'm just gonna go back in with that earth sponge and just go under my eyes. Right, I'm now going to set my face with powder, but that beauty blender has done a really, really good job. So I'm going to use this powder right here. So this one is the Technic Soft Focus Transparent Loose Powder. This is a really good powder and it's really affordable as well. So I'm just going to set my under eyes with this powder. I'm going to set my under eyes first. Okay, I'm going to grab the Mulan powder brush now. Just moving up the wrinkles on my forehead. I'm just going to grab that and set it all over my face now. This brush feels so nice. It just, I feel the product just sweeping all over my face and it's so soft. Yep, looks good. Right, I now want to test the, the angled brush, what you use for blusher and bronzer, that kind of thing. I just had a thought. Because the palette has got such gorgeous pink tones in it, and it's quite a big palette, I really want to use one of the colours for a blush. So I'm actually going to take the shade Courage, which is this really nice, like nice Barbie pink colour. Just going to take the angle brush, and I'm going to use this sparingly. So I'm just going to dip it in once. Yeah, look at that colour. Okay, I'm just going to knock it off. I was going to wear bronzer, but I'm going to keep with the theme of like keeping it quite natural and it's sort of like Asian style where they just wear like the blusher on the cheeks. So I'm going to just apply this. See how this works. Oh, that is really pretty. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. That's like a, just a nice 
flush of color that's just not too overpowering i might just dip in it just one more time and just add just the tiniest little bit more yeah that is gorgeous that is so pretty it makes a really lovely blusher so cute i'm gonna do the same now to the other side oh don't want to add too much it's gonna bring that up as well i'm gonna go back in with the powder brush and i'm just gonna literally go on top of it just to sort of tone the colors down i want to add a little bit of highlighter i'm gonna go in with that shade guardian which is that really pinky color so it's a ooh. Yeah, like a really intense frosted pink colour. I'm going to go in with that same brush I used for my crease, but the product's completely knocked off. So I'm just going to dip in it once. And we'll see how this looks. Ooh, let's see if I can build it up a bit more. Let's see if I can build this up. That is pretty. Very glittery. I know it's meant to be designed for the eyes, but... Ooh, this works as a highlighter. Yeah, that's stunning. I'm going to add some on my nose to try and cover up this red nose I have here. Add it here and add some on my chin. That is pretty. You can see that shine. It's a little glittery, so if you don't like glittery highlighters, you... You won't like this eyeshadow as a highlighter. Okay, I was going to add something to the lower lash line, but do you know what? I think I'm just going to keep it bare. I don't know. I, th I think I'm actually just going to leave it bare. I think I'm just going to add mascara, and then I think that will be all right. Obviously, I've added a cold pencil to the waterline. I've just added the Makeup Gallery Call Me Beautiful. It's in the shade black, so this one's just from Pamela, and it's just a black eye pencil. And I've also gone in with my lips. I've also gone in with the Makeup Gallery Color Moisture Lipsticks. So I've used I've used number 25 in the center. So it's like a darker red color. Marrakesh, Marrakesh. And then I've used a bit of Barcelona, which is number 24 on the outer bit. So I've done like a reversal ombre. So dark in the center and lighter on the edges. But I'm loving how this is coming out. So what I'm going to do now is just add some mascara and I'm going to let you guys know my final thoughts. Hiya guys. So I've just chucked my mascara on and this is it. This is the eye makeup complete. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. So my final thoughts on the Mulan palette. I love this palette. I literally could recommend this palette. This palette is absolutely gorgeous. This glitter applied on my eyes so nicely. It hasn't creased my eyeshadows or anything. It hasn't bunched them up. You know, with some of these cream, like, cream, like, sparkly, glittery eyeshadows, they just make your eyes look so creased. But this has not at all. This is absolutely gorgeous. I know I haven't used every single colour from this palette, but I just wanted to make this eye look very inspired by what Mulan was wearing. Even though it's a little bit on the glamour side, but it's still really nice. Love this eyeshadow. They blended really nicely. This, for a blush, looks absolutely stunning. And for this as a highlighter, this one, it looks really, really nice on my face. I really, really like it. And I forgot to mention as well, I did take the shade Dragon, which is this colour down here. It's like a silvery, it's like a silvery grey colour. And I did apply this in the inner corners and on the brow bone as well. So I'm sorry about that. I did forget to film that part. But they've come out really nice as a brow bone. They're very, very intense. So if you want to use it as a brow bone, add the tiniest little bit and blend it out. If you want to make it a little bit more subtle. But yeah, I've got this love silver going on on my eyebrow and my inner corner but this palette is really really lovely i would highly recommend this palette i will try the other colors out to see how they perform but so far from what i've tested so far i would definitely recommend this it's very what's the word multifunctional that's it multifunctional so because the pans are so big you can easily get a brush in there the brushes and the beauty sponge these are superb quality these are really nice quality for the price. They definitely come up to real techniques, standards, um, eco tools, you know, those kind of brands. They definitely go up to their standards. But these brushes are so soft. They perform so well. Love this eyeshadow brush. And this sponge. Now, usually 
when I get a set of makeup brushes and a sponge, the sponge is usually awful, it's usually so bad. This is a decent quality sponge. This is a really, really good sponge. I love the, the Poundland sponges as well, but I've never ever tried a beauty sponge from, from Mad Beauty and this sponge is really, really good. Like I said before, please don't rush out and buy these products. I don't recommend doing that. If you really want to try these products for yourself, definitely go on Superdrug Online or Mad Beauty Online. That is my review on the eyeshadows and the brushes. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to hit that notification bell and share this video with your friends, whoever likes makeup. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Link is in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!